Hi guys, today we are going to talk about distance measuring equipment. DME is an important navigation system used in civil aviation. Nowadays DME interrogator is at the equipment list of modern heavy airplanes. Distance measuring equipment or DME is an active sensor that measures direct or slant range between aircraft and ground station. DME system consists of numerous DME ground stations, which called uh, transponders, and of course on board DME interrogators. Also, uh, DME is in service from 9061. It operates in the ultra high frequency band at frequency range of uh, 960 and uh, 1215 MHz with 1 MHz spacing that supports uh, 252 navigation channels. DME grounds on time of arrival principle of distance measurement. On board interrogator transmit interrogation radio signal at a frequency of DME transponder. Then ground station replies a copy of this signal after a fixed time delay tau. DME interrogator receives reply and count time of signal round journey. Slant distance of DME is calculated using simple math equation. R is equal half of uh, C multiplying with T minus tau, where C is a speed of radio waves propagation, T it is time of radio signal uh, propagation or being absent on board of aircraft, and tau is a delay in DME ground station. DME interrogator transmits interrogation pulse pair signals at specific radio frequency F1. Then ground station replies copy of this signal after a fixed delay at another frequency F2 that is below or upper in 63 MHz from F1 from interrogation radio frequency. Pulses in DME specified to have a Gaussian envelope. The distance between pulses in interrogation pair is different for different DME channels. 12 microseconds for X and 36 microseconds for Y. However, DME transmits not only pulses. It transmits amplitude modulated radio pulses, which you can see in the figure below. In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of navigation signal modifies the amplitude of the radio frequency. Uh, here in this figure, we can we have navigation signal and carrier cosinusoidal signal with specific frequency f. If you remember, frequency is opposite to cosinusoidal period t. In radio wave theory, cyclic frequency is used for scaling f in double pi times. Amplitude modulator change amplitude of carrier signal to pulse pair form in positive and negative signs. There are two basic types of distance measuring equipment, normal and precise. Uh, normal DME is used in air navigation applications. Precise is a part of microwave landing system. The main difference in them 
is a form of pulse pair signal. Normal uses Gaussian envelope, precise cosinusoidal envelope. As a result, accuracy of DME P is more higher than DME N accuracy, but its maximum range is limited to terminal area only. That's why DME P is used only with microwave landing system to guarantee precise aircraft landing. Let's discuss DME operation in more detail. Common DME ground station uh, consists of antenna, receiver, transmitter, validator and specific equipment to generate delay. DME interrogator, which uh, locates on board of aircraft, transmit interrogation pulse pair signal. After time traveling in space, interrogation signal is received by DME antenna of ground station. Receiver demodulate received signal and send it to validator. Validator checks if the received pulse pair is a valid DME signal. If it validated, then DME ground station will be frozen for any interrogation up to uh, 60 microsecond. During that period, received signal will be delayed for uh, 50 microsecond for X channel and for 56 microsecond for Y channel. Then received signal uh, will be sent to transmitter, which is uh, simple amplitude modulator. And paired radio frequency F2 is used as carried wave for DME reply. A reply to radio signal is transmitted from DME ground station antenna to onboard DME interrogator that counts signal time delay. Receiver of, the, of DME transponder is locked for any input interrogations at time of the second pulse in pulse pair detection. That means complete detection of interrogation uh, pulse pair for a period in 60 microsecond of that time. Any interrogation during the date time are unsuccessful and going to be lost. The increasing workload of DME transponder leads to reduce reply performance due to an increasing number of losses in the system. In order to control the overall overload stage of navigational aid, normative documents uh, limit a maximum number of DME users up to 100. In case of peak traffic uh, of the area more than 100 users, DME transponder can increase threshold value in the received detector to provide service for more closed uh, airspace users. In case of interrogation pulse pair lost due to meet a date time in DME transponder, Onboard equipment of DME has to wait for a possible reply up to uh, 2500 microseconds in order to guarantee maximal operational range uh, approximately in 370 kilometers. An airplane interrogator has a different interrogation repetition frequency due to limited transponder ca capacity. The maximum number of interrogation per second for different models of DME operation are represented in table uh, for tracking, search, 
airplane on the ground and initial and final uh, approach modes. More information about interrogation frequency and capacity of ground station you can find in my paper, uh, link uh, for which is represented uh, on the slide below. For air navigation purposes, usually we need horizontal ranges to ground station, but DME provides us only a slant range due to measuring the uh, real distance. As you can see, slant range and horizontal distances are different. And this difference is more valuable in case if aircraft will be closer to ground station. Thus, for purposes of navigation, flight management system need to automatically transform measured slant range to horizontal one. We need to use a simple math equation for this transformation with the help of available altitude. And altitude here can be different. At some installation it can be barometrical altitude corrected uh, to their static pressure variation or it can be GPS altitude. Specification for distance measuring equipment operation you can find in Annex 10 to the Convention of International Civil Aviation Organization. Aeronautical Telecommunication, Volume 1, Radio Navigational Aids. Also, here you can find channel list for DME, VOR and ILS.